How does compounding interest work? That's what I wanna talk about in this video in a very practical way, so I wanna respect your time. If you're looking for like the mathematical equations on compounding interest and all that, that's not what this video is gonna be. I just wanna make it very visual and something relatable so you can see what's actually happening and why compounding interest is a very cool thing, especially if you're looking to build wealth, whether that be in the stock market or really any sort of financial market but I'm just gonna talk about things from the stock market point of view because that's more so the traditional way of how wealth has been built uh, you know, over, uh, over the, you know, the decades and centuries. So compounding interest, the way I look at it is this, and this is something we all know, shapes, right? So you're gonna have some sort of shape right here. Now the size of this shape is dependent on the amount of money that is put in. So the more money you put into, again, in this example, the stock market, the bigger that shape is going to be. But let's just say that it's that size because that equates to the amount of money you put in. Now, when you do certain things, and there are multiple ways to do it, but let's just say you wanna put stock or put this money into the stock market, specifically into dividend paying stocks. A dividend is basically a thank you that companies will give you for holding their stock. They will send you money as a thank you for saying, hey, Thanks for investing into our company. That's essentially what a dividend is. Now this principle works through growth stocks and stuff like that. But like I said, let's just keep this in a very basic way. So you put some money into a dividend stock and again, that dividend stock is going to pay you money. So now how much money are they gonna pay you? Well, that depends on the size of this circle. But the point is they're gonna pay you money. And let's say it's that amount of money, that size. So sure, it's not the same exact as how much you put in, but it is, it is a shape. And the way compounding interest works is this. If you choose, you can have that shape be put into that shape. Now, what is gonna happen to the size of this shape if you're putting another shape into it? If you're saying, well, Clay, th this shape is actually gonna grow a little bit larger. Exactly. So now we have a new shape. Now, is it a whole lot larger? No, it's not, but it is larger. Now, what did I say was the, the cause of the shape right there? Hope you're saying, well, Clay, you said that the, the size of this shape depended on the size of that shape because the more money you put in, the higher, the more dividend payments you're going to get. Exactly. So this shape is dependent on the size of that shape. But what, what happened to the shape now? Well, this shape just got bigger. Meaning what? What's that gonna do to this shape? Well, now all of a sudden, this shape itself just got a bit bigger. Now the key thing here is, did you do anything? Did you put any more money into this? You didn't, but this shape here has all of a sudden grown without you doing anything extra. You didn't go out and work and have to get more money so you could put more money in. No, all you did was choose to put that shape back into that one. In other words, in stock market lingo, you decided to reinvest the dividend. You reinvested it back to buy more shares. But let's think about it again. Okay, well, now you have this shape and if you choose to, again, to use terminology, reinvest that dividend, reinvest the shape back into the primary shape right there, what's that gonna do to this shape? Well, that's gonna make that shape even bigger. So when it time, comes time for that company to send you the thank you card with the money in it, what's that gonna do to the size of this shape? Hopefully you're saying, well, Clay, You've repeated it about a thousand times now, but we know that the size of this shape is dependent on the size of that shape. But because that shape all of a sudden got bigger, well, that means that this shape is all of a sudden getting bigger. And then you do that and so on and so forth. That blue circle is gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger. And the powerful part here is you have done nothing extra. You have not put any more money in. You have not done anything at all yet you are making more and more money because the bigger you can get your original shape, the better. Now, the powerful part is, let's say you do add in more money. So let's say, yeah, sure, you have this shape throwing in, but let's say you have a, another shape over here. And let's just say this shape comes from your job, right? So you're working a job. So you're gonna take this shape, put it back in, but from your job, which you're also gonna put that in. Well, what does that do to that shape over here? It makes it that much bigger, which means what? that shape is gonna get that much bigger. But if every time you're also adding in shapes from two different directions, right? So you're basically creating 
a battle plan against yourself, except this is a good battle plan because you're getting attacked from this way, you're getting attacked from that way, but when you're getting attacked, that's getting bigger and bigger. So the more ways that you can get that bigger and bigger, the better. But at its core, again, this part here is just a way to add steroids to the process. It's not required because compounding interest, all it's doing is growing itself because if you choose to reinvest, then your original shape gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's what we want because the bigger the original shape, the bigger everything else ultimately turns. Like I said, in this situation, those dividend payments will continue to grow and grow and grow, making the shape bigger, grow and grow and grow, so on and so forth. So like I said, yes, I realize I didn't use any sort of mathematical equations, but I'm not that smart. I'm a simpleton. I like shapes. I like, let's keep this at a kindergarten level. So as long as you can understand the relationship between these two shapes, you understand compounding interest. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.